Hi guys, this is Anna from Anna and Ivy and January Blue and um, in this tutorial I will show you two super super quick how to make a small save the date card invitation animation kind of and yeah, let's start. We will start inside of Photoshop of course as always. Um, if you don't have Photoshop you can also use Premiere Pro uh, but if you don't have the Adobe Cloud you can also use um, DaVinci Resolve or um, Final Cut. Final Cut comes with um, most MacBooks I think or uh, iMacs and DaVinci Resolve is for free. I've made a tutorial for this. Um, you can check it out but in this tutorial I will show you how to make it inside of Photoshop. Inside of the collection you will find uh, four different canvas sizes I prepared for you because this makes it super fast to create a video clip. So I will make an uh, Instagram feed size kind of square animation. So you can also post it on your Instagram if you want to. And we will start with the background. So I will use a plain background. I will go to solid color and then make some kind of a beige tone background like this maybe more grayish here we go so the first thing i will do is i will write a small information about the date and then scale it with command t or edit and free transform position it somewhere here here we go. Maybe we could add some small lines in here to make it a bit more nice looking. Here we go. So the next step is simply to drag and drop one of our frames. You have two different kind of frames. You have the rotating frames and the normal frames. So the normal frames look like this. They only go up, and the rotating frames rotate at the beginning so here we go so drag and drop your frame to your document and press enter now you can't see anything because the frame builds up at the beginning it's nearly like invisible <laughs> so we have to go to our timeline go to window timeline here we go then click on create video timeline don't click on create frame animation we need the video timeline go now you can already see our text and our background are not at the same length uh, we have in our animation so we drag it to the right when we go with our cursor to the right we can see our frame builds up and it's over here so I will adjust the frame a bit click on the frame command T or edit and where is it Free transform and then maybe rotate it a bit, adjust it a bit. Here we go. We can also overlay it a bit over the text and then drag it below the text. So, next step is to maybe write that we have to save the date. I will make the words separately. Command T. And I will adjust a bit. So here we go. I decided to change some of the words to the font I used in the um, date. And now I have to adjust my timeline again because my words are not the same length as the other things in my timeline. Here we go. Oops, this was too long. And now we have this kind of animation over here. So if you want to super quick change the color of the frame, go to FX while the frame is selected, color overlay 
and here you go. Now you can choose between, between a plain color overlay like the white one or you can go to color blend mode and leave it silver or choose the maybe rose gold kind of look. Someone here. Pick this orange color or to the yellow. And you can also play with the opacity so the orange doesn't come too harsh. Pick with this kind of copper mixed. Yeah, okay, it's not rose gold, but it's kind of copper colored. But you know what I mean. <laughs> so here we go. So now you can, of course, adjust more things and play around. I have another tutorial where I show you how to mask the things, but we will stay at this basic um, situation here and simply export now our video. Go to File, Export, Render Video, choose your location where you want to save it, make sure your size is set to document size, and then simply click on Render. So this can take a bit, uh, it depends on how many animated elements you've added to your Photoshop document, but um, normally it takes about a few seconds to render. So our animation is finished, here we go, this is how it looks like, and you can now send it to your phone or send it to your friends or wherever you want to send it, and if you want to know how to animate the font so it appears, uh, one by one, simply check out uh, our YouTube channel where I've made a Photoshop tutorial on how to fade in text. So I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial and enjoy the collection, have fun and have a lovely week. Bye!